Man, what's up, guys? I cannot thank you enough for the support on part one and two. And this time, I took your feedback. Thank you, guys, for the most of the support on part one. 1,500 views. Come on. Let's get it up. 1,547 views. And get, thank you for giving me 111 subscribers. We're going to keep this grind up. And this is part three. And, yeah, sorry I didn't upload part three. It was delayed, you know, midterms. And thank you for all the support and comment. I took your advice. Now, let's go. So, we're going to start this off with uh, the Goku and Vegeta fight. Goku, after he beat him with the wrathful form, he reverted back to base form. But Vegeta's, Vegeta's still alive. As we can see, Vegeta's a very durable, durable character because ever, he got his tail cut off and he still was able to fight and all that. And, yeah. So now Goku's charging the, now that Goku's charging a blast, not the spirit bomb. I know he looks like he's doing the spirit bomb position. He's doing a very big blast to end off of G Vegeta. This is what he's doing. So this Goku hit the blast, but Vegeta dodges the blast, and it hits Gohan. But Goku's like, hit it back, you're hit it back try to hit it back as hard as you can so this isn't a spirit bomb so even if he has a pure heart maybe he probably doesn't have enough power to do this but gohan tries his hardest and tries to awaken his inner power and he actually gets a little bit of a rage boost and starts pushing it back and pushing it back until he taps into his wrathful form and then it hits vegeta and you know, Vegeta isn't dead, but he's very crippled. He's very crippled. He's broken both of his legs. Vegeta is heavily damaged. And when I'm telling you heavily damaged, he can't even crawl. All, he's literally just dragging his hands. And Krillin stops him. But, you know, Goku tells him, next time I'll beat him myself. Don't kill him. Let him go. And Vegeta gets offended, but he still leaves. Now that we're finished with this saga, we get that meaningful smile from Son Goku. And now we're going to be diving in to the Frieza saga, aka the Super Saiyan Goku saga. But we can't say the spoilers because, you know, uh, this what if is not about spoilers. But we are going to dive into this saga and go across many power-ups and especially Gohan's development as a character that's what's gonna develop and he's gonna realize some things that he should do instead of trying to be afraid and that's all I can say even though we're diving into the Frieza saga this thing you have to wait now that they know about the planet dynamic Dragon Balls now that we know their training since Goku has his gravity training right now he's using with Gohan but this time they're training their wrathful forms. They know how to access this, access this form briefly, but they're trying to access it, access perfectly. They're trying to perfect this form so when they can be Frieza. So power levels are coming soon. Give me a second. I'm going to do my math, and yeah. Power levels are coming through. Go so Gohan and Goku wanted, was in the hospital, but since Goku heals a lot faster, I know, but, like, yeah, let me say that. Let me tell you. Because, obviously, we could see Go Broly was in a good shape even after that beating. Be maybe because it was his potential, but I'm just going to say it was probably because of his adaption and his healing. So, Goku and Gohan would get out of that hospital in no time. As we see... Vegeta has arrived earlier to Namek after getting healed in the healing chamber since he since he was, you know, damaged by them, he went back. So, yeah, gravity chamber, Goku's still in with Gohan and Bulma and Krillin are on their way to get the Dragon Balls, but Vegeta has arrived earlier than them and started killing innocent Namekians just like a kid. Goku arrives on Namek. The Ginyu Force wasn't called yet because Go they didn't know that Goku was there. Since Goku came earlier, he did come before the Ginyu Force. So now he's at a power level of 7 million. 
base form. Jesus Christ. That wrathful form training was awesome. And his wrathful form is at 90 million. So let's see that. As, so as soon as Frieza senses this power, he powers up immediately to his final form, full power. And Goku wasn't expecting this. So as soon as he powers up as sensing Frieza's power, he powers his up too. And he's at 90 million and Frieza's at 120 million. But it's still a very close match. Frieza's obviously winning. But something happens. And Gohan gets hit by a spare death beam. And Goku is literally staring at his dead body and looking at Frieza. And we know what's about to go down. Goku powers up and turns into Super Saiyan Wrathful form. This form is stronger than stronger than the original Super Saiyan. Uh, instead of 150 million, it's one it's 560 million. Because he's mixed his Wrathful form with his future Super Saiyan form. And with this Super Saiyan power, it's going to be. So stay tuned for part four for the battle. Sorry for the cliffhanger.